Here is my video description of my final aesthetic project for our class. I will make sure to include a digital copy of the poster so you can see it. I chose to do a little mixed media style in which I integrated some of the quotes and concepts that we've been learning throughout this course with uh, visuals in order to supplement it. The biggest quote that I had, which I feel like really encapsulates a lot of what we are learning and why we need to enact culturally sustaining and revitalizing pedagogies, is uh, the fact that white privilege is not innocent, as uh, D'Angelo explained in White Fragility. And uh, some of the images here show the ways in which it isn't innocent, the impacts of colonialism, both historically and our current uh, systems of discrimination, subjugation, and oppression. And you can see that through the handcuffs, through this kind of colonial mapping with the silhouetted face, uh, as well as the physical repercussions to the land, including the disgracing of sacred spaces through Mount Rushmore or the ways that we extract resources with the oil dredge. I also chose to kind of focus on this term new racism because that was a big takeaway for myself in the readings in our class how racism has evolved and has become more insidious in our country because we use different terms uh, in, in these veiled attempts to justify racism or prejudice and we can see that through these ideologies like meritocracy and individualism or even this concept of the american dream and questioning who is that american dream designed for uh, i also I chose to do a quote about our educational structure and it is a quote from culturally sustaining pedagogies it was in the first chapter where it said that the purpose of state sanctioned schooling has been to forward the largely assimilationist and often white violent white imperial project and i think it's important to think about how the scales of justice as represented by this uh, white lady justice have been uneven because we ha are in a system in which our educational structures are, are created to benefit white people and to subjugate people of color. I wanted to incorporate this term about the inward gaze because in response to that quote and that um, as Paris and Alan have explained in culturally sustaining pedagogies, we need to look inwards to combat and challenge the colonial concepts that we have been surrounded by and unlearn, critique, and question how we have been standardized within our thinking and our education. So I think I covered just about everything in my, in my poster and uh, thank you for listening.